at 5.30, forced out. More than 200 people remain homeless tonight after a fire at an apartment building in Brownsville. It led to massive flooding when the sprinkler system went off. And tonight we're getting our first look at sort of cell phone video rather that showed some of that water damage. CBS 4's Peter Dench caught up with the man who lives in the apartment where the fire erupted. He joins us live from the building. So Peter, what's he saying? Well, Rick, he told me that the fire started after he left his oven on in his 11th floor apartment. It was not a big blaze, but flooding followed uh, because the sprinkler system kicked on because of that fire. A new cell phone video shows the damage. Cell phone video shows how this Brownsville apartment building was soaked by sprinklers. The hallways were drenched. Water seeped through the walls. This resident, who did not want to show all of his face, says the blaze broke out in his 11th floor apartment. It went out for me and I left the oven on by mistake and, I, and, the, and the water springs just start coming. The water just start. And I 15 seconds after we started this interview, a building manager kicked us off the property. Uh, hey, hey, hey. More than 200 residents were forced out of their homes because of the flooding after the fire broke out. I actually saw the water coming from the air conditioning unit, the water coming from the bathroom, the water seeping into the kitchen. So your first reaction is to panic because you hear people in the hallway running. With no place to go and belongings destroyed, some residents were reduced to tears. Some children were left with nothing. Everything is gone. Toys project that she's been working on. They missed school today because no clothes, no shoes, no food, no nothing. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue says the stove fire at Northwest 51st Street and 29th Avenue caused the sprinkler system to go off. It put out the flames but caused significant water damage. Some residents spent the night sleeping on cots in the building next door. Others took their families to a hotel or stayed with relatives. We stayed in a hotel. Um, because I got two kids and a uh, wife. Many left stranded say they have not been able to get answers from the building's management and fear no one will be held accountable for their losses. Where are we going to go? And they telling me they're not responsible for my stuff that I work hard for. I'm like, who's responsible for it? Now, fortunately, the fire department says no one was injured here, and Neighbors for Neighbors is working with the building's director of residential affairs to see how residents can be helped. Now, just moments ago, I spoke with both management and residents. Residents are being told they'll be back home within the hour. We're live in Bronzeville, Peter Natch, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you.